Hey there, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Coffee Break. Franklin Taggart here, and uh, I know it's been uh, it's been a while since I did a Coffee Break. You know, I've been taking a little bit of time and regrouping and figuring things out. But my friend Bonnie um, asked me about how I made my virtual backgrounds for my Zoom calls, and I thought I would just do a quick little run through about how I did mine uh, and show you how to do it as well. So thank you, Bonnie, for the idea. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my screen all set up, and I'll be right back with you. All right, the first thing that we need to do as we are getting ready to uh, to make a, a Zoom virtual background in uh, Canva is we're going to take a picture of our Zoom screen um, so that you can have something to work with um, as kind of a, a template in Canva. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Zoom and start a new meeting. And over here in the upper right hand corner, you see the word view. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose full screen. All right. Now you can see that I've got a lot of stuff in my background here. Now I usually have this stuff for Zoom calls and things like that, um, just so that people can kind of see interesting things and weird things to talk about. But if I don't want it to be a distraction or if I want to be a little bit more intentional about it, uh, I can do that. So I've, I've made my view um, a full screen view. Now, the, the thing that I'm going to do right now is I'm going to, I'm going to locate the print screen button on my computer keyboard. And I'm going to go ahead and get my finger on top of it, but I'm not going to push it yet because I actually want to be looking in the camera. Now, one of the things that you want to make sure of is that, you are, that your face is placed in the place that you want it on camera. There are some people that like to have it right in the center like I have it. There are other people that like to have it on one side or the other, and either one is fine. It's not, it's not a problem. You can have your camera set up however you want to for a Zoom call, but uh, the space that you have available for your background uh, changes based on where you are. So I like to have my, my face right in the center of the screen, and so I've got my I've got it all set up and all I have to do now is press the print screen button and that will give me um, I use Snagit to pull my screen I'm gonna just do a full screen and then I can save that image as um, as uh, a file and then access it in just a little while so I'm gonna go ahead and click out of, of Snagit and I'm going to go ahead and end my zoom meeting for right now, that's uh, that's all I need to do with Zoom. So now that I've gotten that done, I'll go ahead and close Zoom altogether, and I want to go over to Canva now. And in Canva, I'm just going to open uh, to my regular account, and what I'm going to search for in the search bar here is a YouTube thumbnail. And uh, let's see. I'm going to do the one that has the the diagram by it so that I can make sure that I'm I'm using the right one. It's 1280 by 720 pixels if you need the actual measurements, but if you just go to Canva and open the YouTube thumbnail measurements, it's right there for you. So I'm going to click on that. Now, you can use the templates if you want to. There are a lot of folks who like to just take a template, make it their own and and do it. I'm going to use a blank one because I'm going to be working with uh, some of my own um, assets. So the thing that I'll look at here is I'm just going to go over here and click on create a blank YouTube thumbnail. That, that'll open up my work screen. Okay. Now what I want to do first is I want to upload the picture that I just took using uh, the print screen from the Zoom full screen. So I'll go ahead and open that up and we'll go to the upload files. So I'll go to my Zoom background file and I'll look for the full screen capture and open it. We'll let that open in uh, the upload file and as soon as that's done I'll just click on it and that transfers over. Now I do have to resize it so that it's the same size as my screen. All right. So the thing that's really nice now is that I've got this that I can use as just kind of a guide for uh, for the things that I want to put on the screen. All right. 
Now, the other thing that I can do is I can, I can control the transparency of my image. So if I wanted to have a background or something like that, I can do that. Um, in fact, why don't I go ahead and add a background? So over here on the left-hand side, very bottom of the menu, you can see the background menu. And you can choose backgrounds as you want to. Um, I'm going to be looking for something that has kind of a, a, rate, a gradient pattern coming from the center and into the, into the outside realm. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'll just go ahead and search for a gradient and see if anything comes up. Oh, there we go. We've got some to choose from. That's nice. All right. I like this one right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose that as my background. I'm going to move my picture back over here. All right. Make it, I'm going to add some transparency so that I can see the background through the picture. But now I can add my text and my other graphics that I want to add. So I can see where the, where the spaces are where I'm going to want to have um, room, right? So go ahead and add some text here and uh, let's see, what do I want to do for text? I'm going to use my brand kit for my regular um, uh, podcast uh, brand kit and I'm going to go ahead and just add a heading and I'm going to invite people to visit my website. I need to make that white so that it'll stand out against the background and I'm going to move that over. Um, I'm going to put it right up there in the corner. All right. Now the other thing that you can do, like one of the things that I like about having a, a, a virtual background like that is um, that I can put um, a, a QR code in. Now, if you have, I think I think you have to have the Q, I think you have to have the pro version of Canva in order to use Canva's QR codes. If you don't have the pro version of Canva, but you want a QR code, there are other places that you can get one, like bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y, has, has QR codes as a part of their free plan that you can use. Um, but what a QR code does is it just makes it a, a really nice scannable uh, link to um, a resource. So what I want to do is um, visit my YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go in here and get into my apps. And um, down here, I scroll down to where it says QR code, and I'm going to go ahead and open that window. Now what it's asking for is a URL where I want to send people. Well, I'm going to send people to my YouTube channel. So let me get that open. And I'll go ahead and, and uh, copy the URL for my YouTube channel and then paste it back into the QR code. Now it will generate the code now that I've loaded the URL. So the thing that's really cool now is that I can customize that if I want to. Um, I can do a different background color and a different foreground color. I'm going to do a different foreground color. I'm going to make it kind of a bluish to match the um, um, to match the um, the background a little bit. So when I update the code, that's what it's going to look like. It's going to have kind of a blue text. Now I'll move that over into this corner over here. And then I'm going to add, add some text that says, uh, so I'll just say, uh, scan to watch my YouTube and Canva tutorials. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that white text again. I'll put that over here. I'm going to bold it so it will stand out just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the transparency on my picture even less so that you can see a little bit more of the background. Well, where is the background? It did it make the picture my bright. It made the picture the background. Okay. So what I need to do is go ahead and I'm going to right click on my picture. I'm going to say detach image from background. 
And what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, delete that. Now I'm going to go back to backgrounds again. And I remember the one that I wanted was this one here, right? So now this is the virtual background that I'm going to use for um, for my Zoom calls, all right? It's got my website. It's got the scan this to watch my YouTube and Canva tutorials. So then I'll just put my title up here. Um, Zoom virtual background, um, YouTube invite, just so that I know what I've got going on. And then I'll save that onto my computer. I'll put it into my Zoom background files for now, just so I know where it is. Now, the only thing that's left is to add it to Zoom. So we're all done with Canva for right now. We can close out there and open Zoom again. I'm going to go ahead and open a new meeting. Now it automatically, I have my window set up for this right here, for this size right here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and open up full screen view again. So go up to the view in the upper right hand corner. Click on that and go to the bottom of the drop down menu and click on full screen. Now the way that I'm going to add my virtual <clears throat> my virtual background is I need to go over here to my video settings and right next to the little video camera in the lower left hand corner there is an arrow that's pointing up I'm gonna click on that little arrow and it says choose virtual background alright now it already has some virtual backgrounds loaded in but what I wanted to show you is how to add one so there's this little plus sign over here on the right hand side of the box click on that to add your image add image and then I'm gonna to go to my zoom background file and find my zoom virtual background now I've just added that and it's selected it automatically I don't have a green screen but if I did have a green screen I would select that button so that it would make it an even cleaner uh, background image but now you can see when I um, close this window that this is my virtual background now and um, so people can scan this to watch my YouTube tutorials they can visit my website I can put other offers up there if I have a lead magnet or an opt-in that I want them to go to um, these are all the things that I can do now let's say that I wanted to um, go back to my no background uh, zoom screen all I need to do is roll over the screen and go back down to the video settings again click on choose virtual background and go back over here and click none and that takes me back to my regular old office so easy as pie huh so that is how you make a uh, a virtual background for your Zoom calls in Canva. If you have any questions at all, get in touch at franklin at franklintaggart.com. And I always appreciate you watching my channel or reading my blog. And uh, if you have any other tutorials that you're interested in in learning, I'm happy to I'm happy to share what I know. So get in touch. And thanks as always for joining me for the coffee break.